In this video we're going to take a close look at sleeping bags that are suitable for the OM, the original mountain marathon. It's a UK race that's uh, held late in October. It's at that time of year when the days are shortening, the nights are lengthening, the weather's changing, it's very much autumn or possibly even winter weather and it's quite a challenging race. You've got to carry everything, as always with these mountain marathons, you've got to carry everything like your tent, your sleeping bag, your clothing, your food, your fuel, your navigation equipment and so on. It's a self-support race. You've got to look after yourself on the mountain for two days and it's a navigational challenge of course. Now one of the key things with this race is that the, it's, it's at that time of year, in fact it's, it's at the weekend when the clocks change and so you get a longer period in camp overnight and in the morning so you, you, you can't you, you really are looking at quite a long time where the sleeping bag is required and quite a long period where warm clothing is required between your first and second day of, of running and racing. Let's have a look at sleeping bags first. I've got two types of sleeping bag that I want to look at with you for, for the OM. The first of those is, the first type of bag I want to look at is the M degree bags. And there's three different M degrees, three different warmths of M degree that I would suggest are ideal for this race. The first of them is the M degree 200. That's rated at uh, four degrees C. The second one is the M degree 250 and that has a typical operating temperature, this one here has a typical operating temperature of 0 degrees centigrade and if you feel the cold, if you really want that extra warmth or you've got plans for other colder races, it's worth looking at the M degree 300 and that's rated at minus 3 degrees centigrade. Have a look on the website, the different weights and warmths are there, but it's critical that you find a bag that suits you for your own metabolic rate. Some people sleep cold, some people sleep warm, so it's about choosing the bag that suits you. The, 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 the bag I would take would be the M degree 200, it's rated at 4 degrees centigrade. The OM is known for a range of temperatures, probably I would say from a 5 degree bag down is about right so anything from five degrees down to zero and so on is about right the temperatures are going to vary they might if you get a very moist and muggy type of race you might even have warmer temperatures there's a good chance about five degrees there's a good chance it'll go down to freezing level sometimes it goes down a bit below when i've done the race it's gone down to about minus two and in the morning your shoes are frozen and your, your laces are frozen up in your tent so it can get quite cold and of course it's a long night um, um, the days are shortening and you've got this long period in your tent. Um, let's have a closer look at this. This is the M degree 250. It's a K-series bag, that means it's filled with 1000 Philpar down. We use 1000 Philpar down because it's the highest quality, so it gets the greatest loft, so it helps us achieve the lightest weights. The fabric is 7 denier, a very, very lightweight sleeping bag fabric. The outer and the inner is the same. And it's constructed in a typical mummy shape it has a box wall construction over the top that means there's a, a, a fabric wall between the outer fabric and the inner fabric and that allows more space for the down to loft and that's constructed just over the top of the bag the under piece the the base of the bag is actually stitched through you can't see it of course but there is no box wall there and that's because you work with the insulation that you're taking with you with your ground mat but that allows us to get the bag even lighter. Now one thing that's really critical with the M degree bags is it's a mummy shaped bag but it's got a wide top to it, it's got a wide entry point so you can get in and out of the bag without the need of any zips so that allows you to really have a very lightweight piece of equipment. Okay so that's the M degree bags and um, let's have a look at the options because they're so important for a race like this. First of all, the fit. We make bags directly for our clients, bespoke and by hand. We make them to order and that allows you to choose a bag that really does give you the perfect fit. We make these sleeping bags in 16 different sizes 
four widths, four lengths and a combination of the two. So you really can get the fit that is perfect for you. And that's a real advantage with a sleeping bag. Get a good fit and you get maximum weight to warmth performance for yourself. If you're slim and short, there's no point taking a standard. You're carrying too much weight and the volume there is you've got dead air space in the bag. So it isn't ideal. The ideal bag is a bag that fits you just perfect. Okay, so those are the those are the fit options. Well worth a look. The other option that is really worth focusing on with sleeping bags for the OM is the waterproofing of the bag. Now, all, all our sleeping bags have a, a DWR coating on the material, which is is that spray-on coating that helps the fabric uh, create that effect of water beading off the bag. So if you've got condensation drips coming onto the bag inside the tent, water will bead off the bag. However, DWR coatings are short-lived, they're not permanent. Uh, so it's worth looking at a water-resistant fabric with a permanent waterproof coating and with these bags we can make them in a fabric called Hypershell. It's a proofed fabric, it's got a PU coating on the underside sprayed on, it's a very lightweight coating but it's on the underside of the fabric and that is permanent, it can't be rubbed off so it, it, it's a permanent treatment to the fabric and it's very clever. It gives it a water resistant quality permanent and it's breathable. So it's a very light proofing but that's absolutely perfect for those situations where you get condensation. Now in the OM, in a race like the OM, those autumn races in the mountains, condensation problems are are very typical because you're using small tents, lightweight tents, two people in the tent, po probably wet gear with you in the tent as well. So condensation in the tent is, is more than likely. So a proofed fabric on the down bag is, is really worth considering. And uh, we, we can, so when you order the bag, select Hypershell as that proofed fabric and we'll make it in that for you. Right, so those are the two most important options, the size or the fit and the outer fabric is really worth considering those two things. The other things that we can do for you is we can add zips, a short zip or a long zip. A long zip is a, has a two-way slider so you can vent the feet as well, you can vent, open it from the bottom or of course you can open it fully and really ventilate the bag. A short zip is short and allows you to really improve the ventilation around the chest area and we can put it on the on the right shoulder or the right side or the left side. If you were right-handed you would normally put the zip on the left. There is a, th a, a further zip option that we offer which is just to put a, a, a foot zip in. That goes in the seam at the sides, it can go on the right or the left. It's just a very short zip, very lightweight, it only adds about 10 grams to the weight of the bag and that's just to ventilate the feet. Now not normally selected for mountain marathons but all very regularly selected for desert race marathon, de desert races like the MDS where the feet where they race for several days in high temperatures on sand and rubble and the feet take quite a caning and um, just to be able to ventilate the feet and let sore feet just cool down a bit is really useful. So that is another option. There are a couple other fabric options that are worth looking at as well. One of them is Dryalex, a full waterproof cover, cover on the bag. Uh, I wouldn't bother with that for a race, it adds too much weight and it's not necessary for a short race. Um, but there's also a cover, a Dryalex foot covering uh, piece that can be selected on our options. It's just a, a waterproof um, cover shell to the bottom of the bag. It's, it's just this section here, these panels here in the bottom of the bag. Now that's a, a fully waterproof taped fabric and it can be either sewn on permanent or it can be removable and just um, put on with a stud so it can be taken, a couple of studs, so it can be removed when you don't need it. That's quite a smart option because it just fully proofs the foot end and it's the foot end which is most vulnerable to touching a tent. If you slide down a little bit and push against the wall of the, the, the tent at the end there, that's where you can quite often get wetness. Um, so it's always worth looking at just protecting that bottom end of the bag. Okay, so that's the 
That's the M degree bags. Select the bag that is right for you for warmth. As I say, I would go with the M degree 200. It's rated at four degrees centigrade, warm enough for me. Um, but if you want a bit of extra, the sweet spot might be the M degree 250. Or if you really do want more warmth, if you're very vulnerable for the cold, if you really are aware of the cold, the M degree 300 is worth a look. Now there is another bag worth looking at, and that is the um, Delta Race sleeping bag. It's very similar to the M degree bags, but it's a shoulder length bag. It's got no hood to it and, it and it cinches in over the top of the shoulders. So in this case, you would be using the hat that you've already taken with you for the mountains and maybe a buff. I, I like using a buff to cover the neck as well. But that allows you to go even lighter. And in this case, we built it in vertex, vertex fabric, which is a really lightweight, 18 grams per square meter. It's a super lightweight uh, fabric. So that, again, that by going that route, you're going even lighter. Um, and the one I would suggest, there's two, there's the M degree 200 and the M degree 100. It's the M degree 200 that I would recommend. It's, it's, it weighs approximately 300 grams, so it's an incredibly lightweight piece of equipment. Nevertheless, it's a box wall construction. We really feel that we need box wall construction over the top of you to get that loft that you need overnight to keep you warm and give you a good night's recovery for the next day. So that's the Delta Race 200 that we would uh, also suggest is good for the arm. Okay, 